In this video, we're going to look at how to use loops to loop through a string of characters and do something based on some condition. The really important thing to take away from this is that you use the same for loop structure to do this, but you always want to be sure to use the built-in method dot length in order to calculate the length of the string. So if we look in this example here, we have one string called word one and the string is stores this is a demo and if we pop up this OneNote file we see that this is a demo has indices 0 to 13 so what we essentially want to do is we want to use let's say for example we want to print out each each letter of this word on a new line so what I'm going to do is create a loop with a counter and that counter is going to go from 0 up to 13 so it's the same structure you already know, 4 into i, and we want to start at 0. The next part of a loop structure is what is the condition that we check. Well, we want to continue in this case as long as i is less than the length of the word, because this is a demo, is 14 characters long, and therefore the indices go from 0 to 13. So as long as we're less than 14, we want to do whatever it is we're interested in doing. Now, this would work perfectly fine. And then the last point is we increment i is equal to i plus 1. And I might do something like system.out.println, and I could do word1.charat i. So we're taking the character in the ith position and printing out to the screen. So if I run this, this will print out to the screen. This is a demo, but each each character on a new line. Okay. The one thing we have to watch with this is what would happen if I did this? This is not our first demo. Well, this is obviously a longer word now, and if I run this, this program would still work. But what you'll notice is that it stops short of printing everything out. It ends up at OU and then stops. And you can, if you count off the indices of this string, you'll see that 1, 2, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the, the U is the last, last character it will print out based on this loop. So it ignores everything else. Even bigger problem would occur if I did this. And if I run this, we get a very specific error we always want to watch for. And that error is called an index out of bounds error. And there it is right there. Well, if we look at our loop here, we see that it's going from 0 to 14. But we can see that word one, in this case, is a word which is four letters, four letters long, meaning it has indices zero to three. So what we want to do is we want to make our loop structure more robust, meaning that it can handle the word regardless of its length. And to do that, we do the following. Instead of putting the length of the word here as a number, we use a built-in method. And that method is called the length method. So here I'd say word one dot length. Now what happens is Java will actually calculate the length of the word that is actually being looked at. So if we run this, we see now that this works fine. I could write something here that is considerably longer. This is a great program that will run no matter how long this line is, exclamation. And if I run this now, program automatically accounts for the change in length, which is really useful, especially when manipulating inputs that users might be putting into the screen, putting in. So let's just wrap this up with one final thing that people often want to do, is that is, that is print a different word, each word on a new line. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a conditional statement inside this for loop. And it's going to look as follows. We're going to say if word1.char 
at, meaning let's look at the specific character at index i, is not equal to a space. So if it's not equal to a space, we're going to print it out to the screen, but we're not going to put a new line in. So we just have a print statement. Else, we're going to print out a whole new line. So again, what this does is it takes each character and checks if it's a space. If it's not a space, we print out the character, but we don't use a print line. If it is a space, we print out a whole new line. And the result is what we see down here, where the sentence, each word is printed out on a new line. I hope this helps.